Hello AP Physics 1, uh, I wanted to do John Colley Chapter 4, number 23 for you. Um, this is part of one of the first kind of weirder, harder problems within your homework set. Uh, Arlene is walking across a high wire strung horizontally between two buildings 10 meters apart. The sag on the rope between their midpoint is 10 degrees, important. Uh, and if her mass is 50, so M is 50, um, kilograms. What is the tension on the rope? Well, uh, I think we all know the first step is to draw a free body diagram. Read. Free body. So uh, I'm going to draw her as a circle because it's easier. Uh, we know that there's got to be mg and then we know that there's got to be some sort of um, tension keeping her up but it's not the full tension. The, the full tension is along the rope. Right, we know that this is um, the force of tension that's vertical. We're going to call that FTV for vertical. Okay, and um, is there any acceleration at this point? The answer is zero. So, um, part two, we should use F equals M times A, where we should use Newton's second law, and we know that F net is equal to um, FTV. Notice that I didn't worry about who's going to go first or second because there's no movement here, right? There's no acceleration. Um, minus mg is equal to m times zero, right? There's no acceleration. She is still, this, this rope is not moving up and down. It's like this is the equilibrium of the two forces. So if this cancels to zero, that means that FTV is equal to mg. The force of the tension, at least the vertical component of the tension, is the same as the, um, as the force from gravity. Great, good to know. Um, so now that we have this, this is a lot, we need to find the actual tension like this. And to do that, we're going to need to use the all FTV is equal to FT, sine theta. Remember this guy? We use it so, many, so often, right? The vertical component is going to be sine theta. Actually, there's two of them, so it should be 2ft sine theta, right? Or um, if you want, you could um, just divide by 2 at the end, but this is how I did it. Uh, so um, let's start kind of uh, plugging in. We know that uh, FTV is basically the same as MG, so I'm going to just rewrite that. MG is equal to this, this one, this, this one is basically FT, right? Right, remember your vectors, right? So MG is equal to, right, um, FT sine theta. So I want to find this tension. So let's divide both sides by sine theta. So FT is equal to mg divided by sine theta. Uh, the mass of this person is 50, oops, 50 kilograms. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. Sine of 10. When you plug it into the calculator, please make sure that um, you put parentheses around sine. And what I got was I got 2882 newtons. That's good. That's for both ropes. That's for both ropes. So for one part of the rope, for only one part of the rope, I need to divide this by 2, right? So FT total. So the FT on one side of the rope is equal to 2882 newtons divided by 2 and I get 1441 newtons for tension shared on the rope. Total tension is 2008. Um, one side is 1441. If I would need to rewrite it in sig figs, I will write it in 144 times 10 to the third newtons. I hope that helps. Um, all I did was draw a free body diagram, then I did the old F equals M times A, and because it wasn't moving, I knew that tension is equal to the same as MG, and then I used the nifty equation, you know, sine theta is the vertical component. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. 
You guys are so great, and I care a lot about you. Bye-bye.